Hello students, welcome to Short Observes classes. So in today's video, we'll solve a question which is number 80. So in this question, it is given in a given observation x, y, z and positive real numbers which are not identical then the following is true for corresponding geometric mean and arithmetic mean. So we have three options. We know that geometric mean is always less than arithmetic mean. So we always know arithmetic mean is greater than gm equals to hm greater than hm we have to remember this so arithmetic gm is all then less than am so given our observation x to z positive real number which are not identical then the following is true for corresponding gm and am gm is less than am so we have solved the question number 80 so we have solved the question number 80 now we'll go to question number 81 so in question number 81 it is given a pair of dice is thrown so a pair of dice is thrown assuming that all the sides of the dice have equal chance of showing up what is the probability that sum of the number is 9 so for this what we have to do first we have to write down number of possible outcome outcome is equals to 6 into 6 equals to 36 so number of possible outcome is 6 into 6 equals to into 36 now for sum to be nine now so for sum to be nine as you can see for the sum of the numbers to be nine what we have to do either it will be three comma six or it will be four comma five or it will be 5 comma 4 or it will be 6 comma 3 so now from here what we can write is probability the sum of number is 9 the probability sum of number 9 will be equals to there are four options out of 36 there are four possible ways which will be equals to 1 by 9 so option D is the right answer so option D is the right answer so for question number 81 option D is the Now we'll straightway go to question number 82. So in question number 82 it is given draw a card randomly with replacement n times from a deck of cards well shuffled before each draw. Now let x equals to number of times and s is drawn then x follows the following distributions. Four options are given. We know it will be Bernoulli distribution. So for question number 82. The right answer is option C. So I'll be giving you a couple of seconds to go through this three question we have done so that you guys remember this. Go through this three question before I proceed further with the other question. So we'll go to question number 83. No, 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 no,